Charles. Now, to some of the smaller parties that are fighting the general election, and today it's two for the price of one. We spoil you. Both are registered with the Electoral Commission and have at least three candidates standing in the general election. The Christian People's Alliance was founded in its present form in 2000. The party believes that Christianity provides a vision for the whole of politics. 16 Christian People's Alliance candidates stood in 2010. At least 20 candidates will be standing in 2015. When we checked this morning, they had 185 followers on Twitter. And finally, the party took a leading role in the campaign against same-sex marriages. Now, our second smaller party today, the Christian Party, was founded in 2005 following a split from the Christian People's Alliance. They have called on every candidate to sign the 2015 Declaration of British Values to help voters choose candidates who uphold the word of God. 71 Christian Party candidates stood in 2010. 11 candidates will be standing in 2015. They have 43 followers on Twitter. And finally, they were the party behind the slogan, there definitely is a God, so join the Christian party and enjoy your life, as seen on London buses a few years ago. And the leaders of the Christian party, Jeff Green, joins us now, along with Sid Cordell, leader of the Christian People's Alliance. Welcome to both of you. you. Now, of course, to ask the obvious question, why aren't you one party, Jeff? <laughs> the, um, a lot of the history you mentioned earlier was way before my time. Um, the, the split, as you called it, was historic. We are, we'll be having discussions later after this election, but we are discussing, obviously, what's happening in this general election. We'll see where we go. We have very similar um, aims and views. So, who knows? Right, so you could merge after this election, even if you're not standing. Do you, do you agree with that, We Sid? are committed to having talks as soon as the election's over. Right, so what separates you now for this election, Sid? Well, As Jeff said, it's historic. Um, there's historic things went on, as you say, in 2005, which were nothing to do with the present day. And uh, the part, things have moved on, and we will be looking at joining, hopefully, uh, within the next 12 months. Right, because for the voters, though, it's going to be quite confusing. If you say it's historic and there isn't a sort of, if you like, yeah. ideological split... What, what is there to offer? And I'm sure this has been said to you loads of times. You know, who remembers the People's Front of Judea and the Judean People's Front from the famous film? They'll say, mm -hmm. what is there to pick between you? We both have a policy of not standing against each other. So the Christian oh. People's Alliance has a long time has had a policy of not putting any candidates against the Christian Party. And I understand the Christian Party's got the same policy vis-a-vis -vis the Christian People's Alliance. So there will be no constituency where we're standing against mm -hmm. each other. And we've actually extrapolated that out with the um, declaration that... Um, we're also looking at people that can sign up to the, the British Values 2015. If they can sign up to that, then we won't stand against them either, because obviously they're following the same sort of um, direction that we believe the country should be led in. When we look at politics and religion, Alistair Campbell, of course, famously said we don't do God mm. when talking about it's gone Tony well Blair. Since then, hasn't it? Should, well, <laughs> I was going to say, should they do God in your view, or would it just blur the lines even more between religion and politics? Absolutely. I mean, Christianity is a fundamental part of our country, mm -hmm. a fundamental part of what we believe in. And at the moment, the government is talking a lot about British values. We believe when you're talking about British values, a key part of that is Christian values. Mm -hmm. And we believe in marriage. Marriage is absolutely key. We've got policies for uh, upholding marriage. We believe in the sanctity of life. We're very concerned about persecuted Christians around the world, which suddenly has become the vogue. Mm -hmm. And the main parties are talking about it because of 148 people killed in Kenya. But they're not doing anything about mm -hmm. it. We're still giving millions of pounds in aid to countries that are imprisoning people simply because they're Christians. Well, and the plight of Christians um, around the world is actually, uh, you say it's in vogue, but it's actually a fact, isn't it? I mean, it is a big issue. Uh, I mean, David Cameron at the weekend called on people to feel proud to say this is a Christian country. Course, what was your reaction to hear that? Well, we smile because we're actually being discriminated in this country as well. Um, the RHC have a very good report that came out and they said the majority of discrimination within the UK was against Christianity, which is interesting because they are also the arm or the, they're actually targeting, if you will, Christian businesses with their uh, equality and human rights. We right. know that personally because they, they, they sort of targeted at my personal business over this. So we know that the people that produced the reports were also the people that are doing the targeting. Well, with same-sex marriage, of course, that was a difficult issue for a lot of Conservatives. Uh, David Cameron championed it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, these are the sorts of issues that I think politicians find difficult to grapple um, when they do enter in the world of politics. Yes, they do. And uh, I'm an atheist, but I think if you do have a strong religious belief, a strong Christian belief that something is wrong, like, uh, like same-sex marriage or partnerships, then I don't see why that belief shouldn't translate into your 
politics. Uh, that's from the principal point of view, from the practical point of view. Ever since good Queen Bess said, I have no window into other men's souls, I, I think it's been the case that the British people are quite allergic to people talking about religion in politics. So whereas I think you both have every right to put up candidates and to get your message across, mm. I don't think you're going to meet with very much success. People, people don't like it. We'll, we'll right. see where we go. I mean, the last European election but one, we got a quarter of a million votes, so there are people that are coming okay. across. We've got councillors elected, and we're not acting as a lobby group. Okay. We're actually acting as a full-on political party, mm. other than some and other the, I'm going to have to finish you, but well, the so are very important issues. Mm. Other parties aren't talking about marriage. All other right. parties aren't talking about persecution of Christians or mm. abortion. So what we're raising are key issues.